The Sharp Ratio was first devised in the mid-1960s by Stanford finance professor William Sharp as a measure to compare the performance of mutual funds. It's a measurement of the manager's returns in excess of the risk-free rate, while factoring in the risk taken on by the manager. You'll also hear it called the reward to variability ratio. The Sharp Ratio to this day is probably the most widely used and followed risk-adjusted measure for investment funds. Digging in deeper into how it's calculated, again, it compares the excess return to the total risk measured by the standard deviations of returns of the portfolio. Standard deviation of returns is also known as volatility. This allows investors to compare investments on a risk-adjusted basis, and not just on returns. So, it allows us to compare the performance of various funds, even if they don't have the same risk profile. Here is your sharp ratio formula. It's the excess returns, again that's calculated by the return on the portfolio, minus the risk-free rate, divided by the standard deviation of returns. As you may have guessed, the higher the sharp ratio, the more favourable an investment return is relative to the risk being taken. Looking at it from another angle, if two funds offer similar returns, but one has a higher standard deviation, that fund, the one with a higher standard deviation, will have a lower sharp ratio. And the lower sharp ratio indicates less return for every unit of risk taken by that portfolio manager. Early in the 1980s, Dr. Frank Sortino had undertaken some research in an effort to improve how we measure risk-adjusted returns, and more specifically, the Sharpe Ratio. He devised a very similar ratio called the Sortino Ratio. Here, we're measuring the excess return provided by the portfolio manager per level of downside risk. And that's the critical difference with the Sharpe Ratio. It doesn't include upside volatility in its calculation. And by doing that, it addresses one of the major criticisms or shortcomings of the Sharpe Ratio. A Sharpe Ratio uses a standard deviation as a measure of risk that includes both good risk, upside, and bad risk, downside. For a Sortino Ratio, we compare the return only to the downside deviation, because after all, investors are most concerned with downside movements in their portfolio. Here is the Sortino Ratio formula which is very similar to the Sharpe ratio. The numerator, the top, is exactly the same. Excess returns is the return on the portfolio minus the risk-free rate. But instead of standard deviation of returns, which we saw in the Sharpe ratio, we're just using the downside deviation here. The result is interpreted in the same way. The higher the ratio, the more favorable an investment return compared to its relative downside risk.